Today we are precisely limiting our torque with the Precision Torque Limiter from Borka Tools. That is kind of a mouth, mouthful to say precisely, precisionly. Anyways, it's an awesome tool, stick around. Hey guys, this is Dave with the Learning Firearms Channel, and today we're doing another review from one of the tools from Borka Tools. Now, bottom line up front, awesome stuff. Everything that I've worked with from Boris, who is the owner of Borka Tools, has just been top quality, and the Precision Torque Limiter does not disappoint. We'll get into the details here in just a moment, but again, if you're uh, just in here to get a quick yes or no, this is an automatic yes, two thumbs up. We've been using them in the shop for a while, and they just work really, really well. Now, one of the things I love about these tools is they just plain work and they are simple. As far as price goes, they're pretty attractively priced. Uh, ranging from $45 to $85, depending on the kits, which we'll kind of get into here in a moment, they're pretty attractively priced for what you get and the precision instrument that it really is. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, didn't you guys just do a review on another torque tool product of theirs? And we did, that was the adjustable torque driver. And that is an awesome, tool because what's great about that is you have an adjustable range but for some guys and myself included maybe we want to build a kit that is specific to one gun so maybe you are going to be using it with a uh, precision rifle such as my Remington 700 build here so I want to have a kit of tools that just goes with this or we're in the process of doing a review series on the SIG MPX, and maybe we wanna have a toolkit that goes with this for swapping the barrels. So let's dive into the, the tool details itself. The kits are very simple, and what's nice with Boris's webpage, which is shooterstools.com, we'll put a link in the description below, is that you can order the kit that works for you. And again, that price range of 45 to 85 depends on what you get. That $45 is generally gonna give you the precision torque limiting tool itself, a ratchet handle, and a bit. The higher uh, price point is going to get you a little bit more. So, for example, this kit comes with a few more options. It comes with a different case, comes with two torque limiters, comes with several different bits that you can pick, and it comes with the handle. So, really customizable for your needs depending on what your situation is. Uh, just a really really a nice product that you guys can see. So we'll dive into what you get and what the tools look like here right now. So first things first, let's just talk about the cases. The plastic case is shown here for the two kit. And I just take a paint marker, I write my name and I write which gun it's for so I can keep this in the range bag or the rifle bag for that. And I have a quick glance, I know what it is. This will hold all that. For the single tool kit, you get almost like this knife sheath. Uh, just a, a ballistic nylon pouch with a belt loop on the back, but it holds everything compact. And again, I just took a paint marker and I wrote what gun it's for with my name, so in case um, I let somebody else use it or whatever. So the cases are very simple for the purpose. They work really well to hold the tools. Inside is, of course, the directions, but you also get a certificate of accuracy. And what's nice with these is you can see the certificate of accuracy for my 65 inch pound kit, the reading was 64.9, 64.3, 64.9. So we are having some really, really tight tolerances on the torque limiter and the other tool I have and all the other ones I've had are, are pretty much within that one to 2% range. So really accurate tools, which kind of brings up a question of why would you choose the precision torque limiter over the adjustable torque driver? Now what's nice with the uh, precision torque driver is you get generally a higher level of precision. So this gives you a very precise tool for a task. Obviously the adjustable torque driver has benefits of offering an adjustable range, but for some people they don't need that. You wanna just have specific tools for certain jobs and that's where the precision torque limiter kit comes in handy. You can customize it for your needs or for your kit or whatever it might be. So let's look at the tools themselves. First, let's look at the meat and potatoes, which is gonna be the actual precision torque limiter. And what I like is that it's a solid built piece. Um, it's really, really simple. And you can see, get this on camera, 
the laser engraving, and it's actually really easy to read in person. It's a little tough. You guys, there we go. We can see that on camera. Borka tools, and as you rotate it down, it's going to indicate the value. So this particular one is 65 inch pounds. On this edge here, it has a standard quarter inch hex receptacle for the bits that you'll be using. And on the other side, it has a 3 8 inch square drive to use with the ratchet handle. So you get one or two of these depending on the kit. You also get a ratchet handle with the kit. And what's nice is on one side, you have that 3 8 inch square drive, which engages with the precision torque limiter. But on the other side of the ratchet, you have a standard quarter inch hex receptacle for bits. So let's say you just needed to do some tightening and loosening where you don't need to worry about the torque. You just insert your bit in there. You can use the thumb wheel, you can tighten, you can loosen with the flip of the lever and go either way. So really nice stuff there. Additionally, depending on the kit, you may just get the precision torque limiter, the ratchet handle and one bit, or with some of the other bits available, you can customize it. For my Remington 700 kit, what I had Boris put together for me was bits that were applicable to my rifle. So what's nice is I have this bit right here, which we'll talk about here in just a moment, but this is a really cool bit. But your more common bits are going to be some hex. So I have three different size hex bits that are specific to the fasteners that are found on my rifle. I have a Torx bit that is specific to the fasteners on my Vortex scorp, uh, scope rings. We also have a quarter inch hex to quarter inch square drive adapter. So if I came across uh, some quarter inch drive sockets that I needed to use with the ratchet handle, I could just by inserting the hex into the back of the ratchet handle, and then I could use the square drive adapter. Additionally, I have a half inch socket. A lot of scope rings use a half inch uh, nut. Mine don't, but it's nice to have in there in kit in case I have to help out a friend or somebody who does. And then we also have a quarter inch hex to quarter inch drive, basically a reverse adapter. So you can use this for various things too, which is uh, really cool that they included, you know, some of the various different things that you might need. So awesome bits. I've talked about the bits in the adjustable torque driver video, but his bits are very high quality steel. They're really precise and they are hard chromed. So they just are some of the nicest bits I've really truly ever worked with. Now I mentioned this other bit here. And what's great about this bit is it's an extended ball hex bit. And this was designed for accuracy, international chassis, things like that. Because on some of the chassis, if we take a look at my chassis in particular, and of course all firearms are unloaded, but getting a standard uh, key in there with the precision torque limiter might prove kind of difficult. So what's nice is because of the chassis or your stock design or whatever, I can insert this extension and now if I can see, I can get in here much easier, have much more room to work, not have to worry about, you know, uh, getting in the way. Same thing with this, you know, right here, I can easily access the bolts or the hardware that I need to. So really nice stuff. Let's show you how it works. So I'm just going to use this Torx bit. We'll set these other bits aside for a moment. I'm going to grab the 50 inch pound torque limiter and the ratchet handle. All we do is we insert the Torx bit into this black quarter inch hex drive. That's going to be whatever bit you're using. And then we insert the precision torque limiter onto the handle. Now, Boris says it's perfectly fine to take off the fastener with the precision torque limiter. Of course, if you don't feel comfortable with this, you could always just remove the bit and use it traditionally without the torque limiter, which is kind of the school of thought that I was trained on, but it's no issue to use that method to remove your fasteners if you need to. Uh, then you're just basically applying the torque in a counterclockwise method. Of course, you could apply your thread locker of choice, which is something I highly recommend. For the purposes of this video, we're not going to worry about that. And then I can just, while I'm pushing forward, I'm just going to snug them all.
All right, once they're snug, now we can begin to apply the torque. And all we have to do to apply the torque, and I'm gonna do this so you guys can see it on camera, we're gonna insert the fastener, press it in so it is seated into, or excuse me, insert the bit in the fastener, make sure it's seated in the fastener. And we're just gonna tighten, and you can hear the click when it reaches torque. That was the click. We're gonna do one more. And we're close, and here it is. And we'll move on to the other ring. Heard the click. And there's the click. That means we've reached 50 inch pounds of torque on all of the fasteners. And it's just as simple as that. Same thing would apply if you're using the 65 inch pound fastener on the action screws. So really simple. Now, a lot of guys are thinking, well, you know what, that's great for precision guns, but for other guns, it could be just as important of a factor. So like on the SIG MPX here, if you wanted to do a barrel swap or if you wanted to take out the barrel um, and have a pretty close to return to zero after a cleaning, these trunnion screws use a Torx driver and the recommended torque value is 40 inch pounds. So now if I wanted to quick take out this barrel, I could use my 40 inch pound, loosen these up, take out my barrel, do some cleaning, swap devices, whatever. When I'm ready, I go ahead and reinsert it, tighten all the hardware, snug it down. And as I'm getting ready to make my final torque adjustment, we'll tighten until we hear a click. And there we go. Now we've reached 40 inch pounds. Now the reason why this one has a label is because uh, he didn't make a 40 inch pound, so he recalibrated a a tool just specifically for my needs for this 40 inch pound. So really awesome tools that work just how they should, just as advertised. Again, anything that I've ever seen come out of Borka Tools has been high quality. It's definitely stuff I recommend. It's stuff that we've used in the shop. We've had these now for a few months and I've used them on the Remington 700. I've used them on the MPX. I've used them on a couple other applications for other scopes, customer guns, etc. Uh, and they just work really well. If you're in the market for some precision torque equipment, I highly recommend Borka. It is definitely our torque tool of choice. Both their adjustable torque driver and their precision torque limiter are just high quality tools that are uh, made by a good guy who represents himself honestly and truthfully and takes good care of his customers. He's been awesome to work with. For more information, check out their webpage, shooterstools.com. And again, for the precision torque limiters, different kits are available that are customizable for your needs. Prices range from $45 to $85. And they all ship out of Michigan. Great guy, great tools, highly recommend it. Thank you guys again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, whatever, we'd love to hear from you. Please like, share, and subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the more viewers we get, the better the channel can become. We sincerely appreciate it. Whenever you're working around firearms, make sure you're doing so safely. Always make sure all of them are unloaded. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Take it. <laughs>